as part of clinical trial programming series we will today see how to derive baseline flag in sttm vs data set when vs tpt is present in the data uh, the input data set for this exercise and also the complete code can be found in the description of this video so here if you take a look at on the left side of the screen so this is the final output that we are going to derive programmatically so key things to note are the definition of baseline and some additional notes so baseline is defined as the last known assessment prior to dosing so it is last known assessment prior to dosing so dosing date is equivalent to rfstdtc here and vstpt is populated to indicate the time point of collection when multiple corrections are made on the day of dosing so we are it is mentioning that vstp also needs to be considered at the time of deriving the baseline now let us take a look at the input data set and try to manually identify the baseline record with the data provided so there are two conditions have to be met the first condition is the record has to be prior to dosing and the second thing is the result should be non missing so let us evaluate one record at a time and to see if the record gets qualified for baseline or not so let us start with the first record the first component the result is not missing and when we examine the date the date of collection is 10th jan when compared to the reference start date or date of dosing of 15th jan so this is prior to the dosing so this record can be considered for baseline so let us mark it and then jump to the second record so the result is not missing and 11th jan versus 15th jan so this is also eligible and then when coming on to the third record the collection is prior to the reference start date but the result is missing so this record does not qualify for our baseline requirement and then on 15th so if we which is we have two records one is pre dose and the second one is one hour post dose the vstpt itself is indicating that this record is prior to dosing on the day of dosing so this record is eligible for baseline and this record of one hour post dose is clearly ineligible because it is the time point is indicating that this was collected one hour post dose as the definition of baseline is prior to dosing this cannot be considered for baseline so we have three records which qualify for our baseline eligibility and then out of these records we need to choose the latest one 10th gen 11th gen and 15th gen pre dose so out of these three records 15th gen record is the latest record so we need to flag this record as y so this is how we manually identify the baseline record to understand the theory and now we will see how to programmatically derive this as we have discussed in some of the earlier videos identifying a baseline record consists of three main steps to identify the records that qualify for baseline and to identify the latest record and use that latest record to populate the flag in the parent data set now we'll see the process the first step is to read and process input data set so as reference start date itself is provided in the input data set for us so we are not doing any additional processing here and we are just creating a copy of vital signs data set provided us with a new name as vs01 so if we rfstdt is not provided to us we would have to fetch it from the demographic data set and the next step is to subset the records that qualify for baseline the records that qualify for baseline has two components the one is the records with non missing result and the second one is the record should be prior to dosing so we are handling that requirement in multiple stages the first component is being identified with the condition as vs orr yes not is equal to missing so this filter condition uh, 
makes us subset the records with non-missing result and the second component is to identify the records which are prior to dosing so a record would be prior to dosing if the date of collection of vital signs is prior to rfstdtc but there can be some collections on the date of dosing but on those records the time point has to be pre-dose so here we are making use of two filter conditions with an or so the date prior to the reference start date or date on the day of dosing and the time point is pre-dose so we will have the records which are eligible for our baseline so let us take a look at base 01 data set and see if we are actually getting the required records so here we have manually identified that 10th gen 11th gen and 15th gen pre-dose records were eligible and see if our programming is working as expected if it works as expected we will only have these three rows in our base 01 data set yep. 10th gen 11th gen and 15th gen pre-dose records are coming in our output data set so this is working as expected and the next thing that we need to do is to identify the latest record of these the eligible records so we can make use of our last dot variable processing in the data step to identify the latest record so for that in order to make use of last dot concept we need to sort our data record such that the latest record comes at the end so we can sort the records based on subject id test cd and date so when we have the record sorted when we use last.vs.cd we will have our last record subsetted let us take a look at our base 02 data set to see if we only have the last latest record available in this base 02 yep if we take a look at the base 02 data set the latest record of 10th 11th and 15th pre-dose records is 15th jan pre-dose record so we have that record identified now the key variables that become uh, that are used to identify the baseline are subject test cd date and the time point okay so we need to merge this information back onto the parent data set to populate the baseline variables so in so one of the earlier videos wherein uh, time point was not included we have merged only till date but when we have time point included the tpt variable also becomes our key variable so the records if a record is present in base 02 that record is a baseline and that time point can be identified based on subject test cd dtc and tpt so if a record is coming from base 02 then that record is nothing but our baseline record so we are making use of if b then vsblfl is equal to y so this is how we populate our baseline flag when we have time point included in the data set thank you for watching